Well, hello, Blade fans. Welcome back. And I gotta tell you, just when I thought I was done fishing, what shows up but another petrified fish. <laughs> yeah, uh, I, I saw a few other new ones. I wasn't real, you know, enthralled with the designs. But then I looked at this one, and I looked, and I looked again. And uh, what do you know, but White Mountain Knives starts uh, carrying a bunch of these. So I figured, well, what the hey? They're really only a $55 retail item, and you get your 10% off with my discount code at White Mountain. So it brings it down to about 50 bucks. And so what we have here that I couldn't resist is the PF... 969T. I think T is the handle color and the blade treatment. It's a really nice, um, I don't know what you call it, stone wash, like a flat gray stone wash with satin flats, K110 steel, because the $50 ish petrified fish knives are K110 and the 30 something dollar ones are D2 pretty much across the board this is an interesting blade shape and can you see where they left this piece of steel in the blade for no particular purpose other than to form an eye doesn't that look like the eye of a bird or a reptile or a fish right kinda cool Near as I can tell, doesn't serve any purpose. So flipper and thumb opener and yes, even middle finger flick. If you gotta do that, if you absolutely gotta do that, um, I gotta say that the um, the knives such as maybe the um, Yojimbo, this guy here, much better middle finger flicker. Probably the best, one of the best going. But let's not get distracted. Got a beautiful uh, logo here that they put on the pivot of all of their knives. Flat grind, sharp edge. We got a harpoon kind of a clip point going with this one. I chose the uh, brown handle color because uh, I'm beginning to sort of like the grain and the kind of the wood look of it. And look, came with a lanyard already tied on there. So yeah, definitely it's got a lanyard slot. And uh, normally I'm not a lanyard guy, but that looks kind of neat. So I'm going to leave it dressed up and leave it on there. It's a... Uh, a solid beefy knife probably as large and beefy as some of the bigger ones like the beluga uh, and others that I'm going to bring out in a moment we'll do a little family photo shoot here of a few that I have on hand we'll do some specs kind of quick if I can not knock the camera over. Excuse me, everybody. Just picked up the tripod leg with my foot. And um, I'm going to run and get a tape measure. Bear with me. Well, I had so many boxes out that I uh, couldn't find the tape measure, but here it is. So let's do this. Overall length without the lanyard, I'm going to call it eight and three quarter inches, so not a small knife. Uh, blade length three and three quarters to the handle, cutting edge three and a half. And yes, you have a usable finger choil on this one, very usable. Going to handle thickness, since I've got it set for inches, 0.60, so pretty thick handle, 
but it's tapered, contoured, doesn't feel blocky in the hand. In fact, it's quite ergonomic. And we've got 3.7 inch, inch, three and a half millimeter blade stock. Sorry about that. I'm not only tripping on the tripod, I'm tripping on my words. Uh, that's what happens when you put a few years on. What do we got here? I believe titanium clip because I'm getting pulled into the uh, liner. That's what's attracting the magnet. But that's a titanium clip, which is kind of neat. Not switchable. Sorry, I don't think too many of the petrified fish knives have a switchable clip, except maybe the Beluga. And, uh, no, not even the Warrior. Anyway, it's a bronze anode titanium clip, which is a little different for petrified fish. Got some nice jimping where your little finger rests. Like I say, ergos are nice, and look at all that handle I got left over. But not oversized. Got jimping on the frame. Jimping, very aggressive and effective, but not sharp on the back of the blade. And there's that eye that's just looking at you all the time, right? Backspacer of G10. Same G10 as the handles. And the liners are major robust. Not, not any skimping there. Nice cutout to access the release. We're going to do a little battery change here. Be back in a editing moment. All right, we're back, and hopefully no more mishaps. <laughs> so, um, what was I saying? Yeah, really nice liner setup. I really like it. This is, um, for 55 bucks a really mechanical knife. I don't know how else to. It's machine-like. It's very satisfying as far as uh, handling it. Uh, opening and closing it goes. Like the uh, thickness of the blade, like the thickness of the liners, like the multiple opening methods, it is definitely on bearings, very smooth, and pretty much drop shutting. So what we didn't do is get a weight on this guy. And you'll see that in the text overlay later. It is not a lightweight. It's 6.14 ounces. I'm going to call it 6.15. That is um, one of their heavier blades. I think maybe the Beluga is up there in that uh, weight category. Let's take a look at the Beluga since we've been talking about it. There's the Beluga. And uh, here we have the, and I have to read the, uh, the blade. Here is the 939. They like the 9 ahead and uh, behind on their knives. And there's the Warrior. The Warrior is known as the 949. So we have, I'm going to adjust a little. It's been one of those evenings. Sorry, folks. Okay. So we've got the Warrior, which is the, just set it, 949. The 969. Very small script on these. The Beluga is the PF01. PFP01. 
And this one is the PF939. So D2, K110, K110, K110. Like I said, all the $50 range knives for petrified fish use the K110 bowl or K110 steel, which is a notch above D2, supposedly. So uh, I'm kind of liking this batch right here. They're more or less my favorite so far out of the uh, petrified fish line. And the fact that you can get such precision blades out of decent materials and uh, you know they're not Civivis but I would uh, from everything I've seen they're a heavier duty knife than most Civivis definitely uh, I would say you know you're going to be able to put them to more use and maybe abuse everything locks up really tight on each of them like I say you play with this a little while it's a very satisfying feeling in each of these doesn't matter the model we'll do a final comparison against some uh, known quantities here How about the rat one right in there same length taller knife though and uh, little heavier duty as I was saying and griptilian and the griptilian is going to be a smaller blade for sure especially when we do that yep axis lock on this guy liner lock on the fish well there you go Another petrified fish, and another highly recommended petrified fish, the PF, and I'm not sure if it's got a name or not, PF969T in this case. Check them out at White Mountain Knives, although I just checked before doing this review, and uh, looks like uh, inventory is running low on petrified fish uh, at White Mountain. But uh, he restocks often, so keep checking. Or you can try going out on Amazon, but uh, watch the expected delivery dates on those. If they're a month out, they're coming directly from China, and you're going to need to be patient. If White Mountain's got them, you're going to get them shipped almost immediately, with same day or within a day. Free of charge, shipping, and no taxes. So that's quite a deal, especially when you take the 10% off with my discount code. Okay, everybody. Have a good one. Thanks so much for watching. We'll be back soon. Got a few more knives to review. Be well.